Well, this is uh, this is the big question, but the answer is quite uh, is quite easy. Uh, when we are talking about uh, open banking, we're talking about uh, bank customers. We're talking about digital customers. So, a fact the fact is that the uh, customers' expectations are enormous. They want uh, uh, they they have uh, high levels of uh, convenience. They want uh, to do their stuff anytime. Uh, everywhere they want to have simplicity, full access, and the, the problem is uh, banks now are even though they're working very hard to give uh, to, to do some innovation to um, give a better experience to cust customers, uh, clients, they're still not there. Uh, so that's that's a, a, a real uh, uh, a real big show for fintech. So fintech are are coming in that uh, environment for, um, for uh, let's say, uh, taking care of the gaps that are left uh, by the bank. So uh, do a better, um, give, give a better customer uh, journey to the, uh, to the clients. And to do that, uh, fintechs, well, they're not trying to, to be against the banks. They want to work with the banks. And with open banking, well, uh, we're talking about API. The API is part of the solution. Also transparency for the, all the, uh, uh, bank accounts and all the financial data, uh, more personalization. So that's what the, the clients uh, need. Uh, they want also um, uh, more options in uh, every um, apps they're um, they're using. So f fintechs can bring all that, and uh, Canadian fintechs that are uh, growing uh, know that uh, knows that banks in Canada have a lot of pressure on for revenues and also client acquisition. So if fintechs can help. Uh, banks and if fintech also uh, can help consumers because at the end of the day that's what we want to do we want to facilitate the uh, the customer journey uh, and and fill up the gaps and uh, all the pain points that uh, customers are uh, are having using uh, banks uh, services so open banking is uh, the new way to uh, new way to uh, to do a business Flinks, uh, well, first of all, I need to present Flinks. Flinks is, uh, Flinks is for financial links. Uh, it's a young fintech. It was uh, born uh, last December, December 2016. Uh, it's three uh, young entrepreneurs that uh, launched uh, Flinks. It's uh, uh, Yves Gabriel Leboeuf, Frédéric Lavoie, and also uh, Julien Dubé Cousineau. All these, these three guys uh, have backgrounds in uh, tech, of course, and banking, finance. And um, the thing was, uh, the, the challenge was really easy, is that uh, all the, um, uh, the customers or the, the users of uh, financial apps, uh, their main challenge is to connect their apps uh, to the financial institution. So imagine using Mint, uh, because it's a very popular um, app, and not being able to connect correctly to your financial institution. So what's the point of having Mint uh, to, to uh, take care of your budget? So, um, so, so uh, Flinks with the, his API uh, is, is building that bridge between the app and the bank account uh, or the numerous bank accounts to uh, give um, the opportunity for the uh, end user to do his budget. So we have, um, we have multiple things that we can do with, with this, uh, this uh, API. It can be used for um, all the accounting apps um, crypto uh, money, uh, you have uh, also lenders, so um, uh, there's, uh, you know, aggregators or data aggregators, uh, they've been around for a long time. In Canada, it's mostly US-based companies that are giving that service. And well, uh, it's not uh, easy uh, because Canada is a small market for these uh, US-based companies and, and they're not connected to all the banks. And uh, also when there's a problem with the app, uh, the app the consumer is using and it's not connecting to the bank because there's a problem, these American-based companies well, it take, it maybe take one week before they can repair the, 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 the problem. So Flinks arrives with the solution. They're connected to 90% of the banks and uh, credit unions in Canada. Uh, and, and it's doing the job and no, you know, no challenges here. So we, we have the market. So 
to answer your question, at the end of the day, we're giving uh, the chance to the consumer to be able to connect to his bank account in a few seconds uh, and uh, without any problem. We, um, a couple of clients are using Flinks, but if we're looking at, um, at uh, banks, we, one of the big five is uh, Royal Bank of Canada. It's still um, about, uh, I say, uh, it's a major, it's a major bank. It's the first bank for uh, Canadians, uh, seven million maybe clients. Uh, so uh, they approach us uh, to be a client of Flinx. How come? Well, uh, RBC is also developing his own apps, and they want to use Flinx to permit their customers and, and clients to connect their app, the RBC app, to their bank account at RBC. <laughs> so it, it's, so it's a, a, the best example of a, a partnership with, between a fintech and a, a big bank. And, and also uh, doing that, well, we're working with RBC to uh, facilitate this, uh, all these um, uh, interactions between the consumers and, and their uh, bank accounts uh, at RBC. But it, the thing is with this, this, uh, these uh, apps that are developed by RBC, it's not only RBC accounts, it's also other bank accounts. So RBC is also open uh, to uh, doing business with other, uh, other financial institutions. So Flinks is there as a facilitator.